For a month now, protesters in Ukraine have braved freezing temperatures and police crackdowns in an effort to forge a European future for their country. The blue and gold of the EU flag are the dominant colours of the campaign. President of the EU Commission, Jose Manuel Barroso, said last week that the demonstrators are making European history. Those young people in the streets of Ukraine, by freezing temperatures, are writing the new narrative for Europe. And I think the European Union has the right and the duty to stand by the people of Ukraine in this very difficult moment, because they are giving to Europe one of the greatest contributions that can be given. At a time when Europe's confidence is ebbing, the demonstrations are a vote of trust in the bloc, says Ian Bond of Policy Group, the Centre for European Reform. Clearly it's helpful in one way to Europe's credibility to be able to show that there are so many people in Ukraine who support a closer relationship with the EU. The Eurozone is still struggling to emerge from the debt crisis. Unemployment in Spain and Greece remains more than 25%. Populist anti-EU parties are on the rise in Britain, France and the Netherlands. Despite all the political bickering in the European Union and the problems with the euro currency, the bloc still holds a magnetic pull for many people here on its eastern borders. Again, Ian Bond. If you're sitting in Ukraine, a country which has lost quite a considerable part of its GDP since it gained independence in 1991, then you, you might think that actually uh, getting closer to the EU looks very attractive indeed. Mikhail Pashkov of the Kiev-based analyst group, the Razumkov Center, says both the EU and Ukraine should recognize the importance of the moment. The fact that people are demonstrating for European integration is a really important signal both to the Ukrainian government and to the European Union. But the decision not to sign the EU agreement shows that Ukrainian foreign policy is opaque and closed both to its own people and to the outside world. Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych insists he acted in his country's economic interest in refusing to sign the EU agreement, instead penning deals for loans and cheap natural gas with old ally Russia. Analysts say although it appears Europe may have lost the tug of war over Ukraine, the protests have rejuvenated the EU's founding ideal as a force for progress. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, Kiev.